beautiful. I hope you played outside, had so much fun. And now that we're starting a new week, we are starting a new study. It's the insect bug study. We're super excited. So I'm going to show you a fun math activity. Um, I'm going to show you how I did it and then different ways you could do it at home. So first I drew out my bugs. Let's go through what I did. I did a ladybug, a caterpillar, a butterfly, a beetle, and a bumblebee. So if you would like to at home, you could draw any bugs you want and then cut them out. Remember, if you cut them out, your thumb goes to the sky. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five fingers, one hand. You can go up if you would like. Again, you could do this activity with Legos, um, crayons, coins, whatever works for you at home. We're just sticking to bugs for the insect study. After that, I drew a log and I didn't cut it out and I'm gonna show you why. So now I have a blank piece of paper. There's a couple of different ways you could do this activity. First, you could just start by going through with numbers. So mom or dad, you can pick a number, like I'm going one to five. So I write the number. Show it, ask, this is to get that math language in. What number is this? Three, show me three fingers. Count to three. Now, with my log, I'm going to hold it up so you can see. I want you to add how many bugs? Three. So they're going to count. One. Here, maybe if I put this down, you'll be able to see better. What's that? Yep. One. Two. Three. I added three bugs onto my log. And you can continue that. And you can go up if you have more items to put on your log. Maybe go up to ten or further. Totally up to you. Now I'm going to show you. Let's do some addition. So to show that sign, make sure you're saying we're putting it together. Boom. We're adding. So you could start with saying... Let's put, take your paper, and again, we have five items, so I'm going to start with this number. Now I'm using pink. Ask, what number? Two, show me two fingers. Okay, now we're going to go back to our log. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to take two bugs, add them on. One, two. Okay, and again, adding, so together. Remember that plus sign. And again, that math language is going, so I'm back to my other sheet. I'm going to put the plus sign together. And we'll do, and you'll ask them, you could even cover up the first part if they get confused. Okay, what number did I put on now? One. So I want you to keep your two bugs on your log, and we're going to add one. You could even put the next one underneath to make a better visual. And now we're going to add it together. One, two, three. Now we have three bugs on our log. So again, that math language, you could go over and say equals, that equal sign. So two plus one is, look at our bug board, how many? One, two, three. 
So, good job. Now we'll do a little bit of subtraction. And again, if it gets too overwhelming, stick to one thing. Just do the numbers. Just do adding. Just do subtraction. Or you could keep it going throughout the week and pick one for every day. So remember with subtraction, we take away. Add together, subtraction, take it away. Boom. So with that, again, now I'm going to use red. Let's stick to, all right, maybe we'll do four. Show the number. How many bugs do I want on your log? I want you to put four. So take my log. Put it down. One. Again, I'm going to use the top and the bottom. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, again, subtracting. Take away. I want you to take away. Back to my other board. And again, you can cover it, maybe so it will help them not get confused. We have the number two. I want you to take away two bugs and see how many are left. Okay. Back down to my board. I have the four. I take away two. How many bugs are left? One. Two, four minus two, again, just go over it, just say the language, equals two. There you go. And they can write down those numbers as well. Like we said before, like, I want you to put three bugs on your log. And then how many? Three. Count it, write it. It's a great activity to get the math language in, the add, take away, equals, just counting, writing your numbers. You could even air write them too. Like for instance, you add three bugs right on paper and air draw the three or trace it with your finger. So many different ways to do math, get that language in. Like I said, it does not have to be the bugs that I did. If they want to draw them and then cut them out, or mom or dad, you want to do that, awesome. But Legos work, coins work, pillows, whatever you have at home to make it work. And then just keep going over that math, that language, um, and trust me, they will catch on to it. It's crazy to see how much their minds, they just get it. So don't be nervous about it and start small and then keep expanding and go, oh, sorry about that, <laughs> and go higher and higher, maybe up to 10 or above, up to you. I would start with maybe one to five just to see how, much, how well they do and then go on from there. And like I said, you could do this throughout the whole week. Maybe one day it's just practicing writing and counting numbers. One day you do the adding and the subtraction see how much they're engaged in the activity, take it from there. And I know you're going to stomp out some bugs with Miss Schwartz. That's going to be super fun. Um, and I'm super, super excited about this study. I hope you are too. It's going to be fun, a lot of exploring. So go ahead, go get your math on. You're adding, you're subtracting, and I hope you have fun. Bye, guys. Miss you so much.